guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I'm going to be using the Teresa Collins Something Wonderful collection for my layout. This is going to be class number five of Techniques for Quick Layouts by Lisa Andrews on Big Picture Classes. So this is the very last one. Out of all of them, this one was the most difficult for me. It called for cutting your photos into shapes, which was interesting. <laughs> I think I cut a photo into a shape once. And um, yeah, it was interesting. I did it, <laughs> but it was interesting. So the pictures I'm going to scrapbook, there is a picture of my old black lab, or actually he wasn't my old black lab, but old black lab Jake and my little Dotson Ginger. This is back in 2001 when I had brought Ginger home. She decided that Jake was going to be her best buddy and she just loved him a lot and he kind of tolerated her. Of course, she did like to bite him. She would grab hold of his ear and he'd stand up and she would just be hanging off of his ear because she was really small. She was a miniature long-haired Dotson, so she was like, I don't know, five pounds, six pounds. And <laughs> I'm surprised he never broke her neck, but he never snapped at her or anything. So there's that. So I went ahead and cut all the circles out. I only had a two-inch punch, so my pictures I used my two-inch punch on and then I did some two inch punches on a white paper. At first I did think I wanted to kind of stain them in that antique linen by Tim Holtz to match the background paper, but I quickly discarded those and just ended up using white. Um, I had to use my silhouette for the outer circles. They are two and a half inch punches. Right here you can see I just went away and wrote my journaling. Right here are the Cal Barteski font thickers. I'm going to spell out my title. It is Best Buddy. And notice it is not Best Buddies because they weren't Best Buddies. But Ginger thought Jake was her Best Buddy. So that is what the title is going to be. Alright, so I am going to arrange these circles of the pictures and the journaling around the title. The title is going to be near the center of the page. I am going to build a cluster in the top right hand corner and the top left hand corner. Right there I just pulled out the name Jake and the name Ginger. I pulled off of that sticker sheet and put them on wax paper and set them by their pictures. Right here, I'm working on that bottom cluster and that top cluster. This is a chipboard piece. It says laugh out loud. Um, that one doesn't end up making it, but that pink circle with the red arrow does. Down there in that bottom cluster, I put down on some uh, wax paper 2001 out of that. Right here, I'm showing you I'm going to glue this down and I'll be back. Up at the top right cluster, there is a chipboard piece that says love. And if you can see under Jake's photo, I took away Jake that was out of the stickers, the letter stickers, and I used some letter chipboard stickers there instead. So I took some of the stickers that were on the sheet with the letters and put them on the wax paper to move around the page, see where I might want them. That is where I'm going to put that chipboard circle. Right here I pulled out this label it says date on it it's kind of a creamy color with a um, aqua background on it I'm gonna put that down there and then I'm gonna put the 2001 stickers on top of that that date label sticker is from my mind's eye sweet Caroline is that what it is miss Caroline and I just showed you some chalkboard labels because I wanted to bring some black down into that bottom corner. So I pulled out this chalkboard label and put it on there. It does not stay there. I tested it out and kind of found out I didn't like it. The other word down there says smile. Right there I just put down hello. That sticker is the story. And that sticker up there says laugh is the pink one. And then underneath it the sticker I'm putting down says repeat. So now I'm going to go ahead 
and trim off the edges where the stickers had hung over on the sides. Here's where I decided I did not like that chalkboard label and I pull it off of there. So now I still want to have some black. I'm pulling out my mat because I have these freckled fawn stickers. Now I like the shapes of these stickers but the gold in them is like brassy or yellow or something. I don't know but the gold is not an attractive gold. So I pulled out some black dilutions paint and I'm going to put a couple coats of that paint on some of these swirly circles and on some of the stars. I do use a couple coats and I then I go to work and let them sit to dry while I'm gone for you know 10 hours. Right here I cut one of those circles in half and I'm going to tuck it under that circle photo and I am gluing them down with Scotch quick dry adhesive and I'm testing it right now and it's stuck. Okay so it did work. I was afraid it might not work because some of the acrylic paint got behind it. So now I'm scattering around those stars that I painted black. So that did, was, that did allow me to bring some of that black down into that bottom left corner. And then I put another one up at the top. Alright, so I'm going to put another half of that circle right there. I'm going to take the other circle that I painted and cut it in half. I'm putting a half of it under that photo and I'm going to put a half under the photo over on the right with both of the dogs in it. So that's looking pretty good to me. I don't know if you noticed it but I took out one a piece of the chipboard. It's black and white striped and put it between the two photos kind of toward the bottom right and I put ginger on it with those stickers and then I am going to see what else I can do with this layout I am trying to figure out where to do with this just straight line of the little swirly dudes and I put them I end up putting it under Jake's name right here I'm showing you this Heidi swap pack I pull a banner kind of not a banner but kind of an arrow pointy thing out it says this is it's pointing in toward that photo. And that's where that ends up going. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, so this is the last class, or the last lesson from that class techniques for quick layouts. It was a pretty fun class. The point was to make faster layouts. That did not ever happen to me. Um, my layouts still took me a long time as they usually do, but that's because, not because of the class, it's because I overcomplicate things and <laughs> I get in my own way a lot. So it had nothing to do with the class. If you are a member of big picture classes, um, go ahead and check that one out. If you aren't, you can sign up for a free trial. trial. I am not affiliated or anything, so... I'm just throwing that out there. Right here I'm using these liquid enamel dots. I did pull out some enamel dots from uh, this collection and I used a couple teals and then some of the tan colored ones. These enamel dots that came with this are really weird because they're enamel dots in shapes but the black ones and I use the term black loosely because they're not black they're brown and they're Kind of a weird looking brown color they're not really all that attractive so after I put them drops down there that is all I'm gonna do to the layout giving it one last look and I say I'm done so thank you so much for joining me guys and I will see you next time bye guys mm -hmm.